everyone! I know that it's been like four, three months since the last Pokemon video. And listen, I'm sorry, I was working on part two, but you know, life, life has been life and lately I have been busy, cut me some slack. In case you missed it, in my last video, I designed half of my Pokemon team into what I think their human self would look like. And here in part two, I will be tackling the other half of my team and drawing them as what I think they would be like as humans. In my last video, which I will have linked down below, you should definitely go watch. I did Quaquavale, I did Flareon, I did Sylveon, and in this video, I'm doing Serena, I'm doing Lycanroc, especially the nighttime form, and I'm doing Luxray. So, with that said, let us go forth into my first Pokemon in this video's roster, which is Serena. If you watched part 1 of the video, you know that Zarina was a Pokemon that I intended to do in the last video, but I had such a hard time coming up for an idea for her that I saved her for this video. Let me just say, Zarina took multiple drafts for me to come up with an idea that I was somewhat happy with. I think that this doesn't look like a one for one what the Pokemon exactly looks like, but in my brain, if I were to meet my personal Zarina that's on my team, and if she were to talk to me or if I were to meet her in person, I think this is the kind of vibe that she would give me. When I was first brainstorming ideas for Zarina, the only thing that like was sticking out to me was Pixar Mom because, I mean, Let's be honest, let's look at Zarina. She's just built like a Pixar mom. I was like, what do I do? I was actually watching the Disney fairy movies in the background while I was working on this and somehow it just gave me inspiration for this design. I kind of made her curvier, at least I tried to. She is a tall queen, even though you can't even see that. And I gave her these like giant three locks and then like the big swoopy bit in front that like Zarina has and that was like my idea and I was like oh my word so I then I quickly executed it and I was like this is the best draft that I've ever had for Zarina so far so it's what I stuck with it's what I went with her legs and like her stomping whatever is like one of her main attacks I gave her nice prominent legs in her design I gave her these really tall boots that like are knee high I gave her these cute short little shorts with little frillies on them and everything on her outfit is meant to mimic her original Pokemon design like the little thingies in her hair and the little the little like round thingies that are on her head are meant to represent what she had on her head so again it's like trying to translate it from the Pokemon but like still looking humanish without it looking like a one for one from the original design and for that reason i actually really like this design i think she's actually my favorite if not my second favorite out of all three of these designs just because me personally i love the color combination of green and pink and pokemon i like a lot of the grass types and fairy types because I just think the green and pink is honestly an underrated color combination. With all of that, that was my human design of Zarina. If you like it, let me know, but I am pretty proud of her. I think she came out really cute, and I pushed myself a lot because it took a long time to finish. So yeah, on to the next Pokemon on my roster. The next Pokemon on the roster is Midnight Form Lycanroc. I'm gonna be honest here, this one's probably gonna be the hardest for me to explain because her design didn't have much of a thought process. It was just majority of feeling, if that makes any sense. Obviously, Midnight Form Lycanroc has like whites, blacks, reds, those are the main colors. So obviously I wanted to go that direction. My Lycanroc in the game is a female. So again, this video is actually gonna be full of lovely ladies. All of the characters are gonna be girls. And I honestly didn't know where to start. I kinda wanted to give it make a character that kind of had that emo edginess to her. The little like pointy teeth mouth that 
midnight form lichen rock has, I wanted to somehow incorporate into the human design because I thought it was just so iconic. So I kind of gave her this like face mask that looks like the jagged teeth pattern. I gave her like these loose fitting clothing that are kind of jagged and worn, but it's very purposeful in that. Like that's definitely on purpose, kind of the same logic as ripped jeans. And she has a lot of piercings. Dude, Midnight Lichen Rock, they would have piercings. So an eyebrow piercing and ear piercings were a must. I decided to give her black or really dark hair with like the tips or streaks of it being bleached and then dyed bright red because I don't know if you think this, but to me, I feel like I associate <laughs> emo people with like having black and red hair. I don't know if that's just me, but I, yeah, mm-hmm. And <laughs> she has red eyebrows as well, which I realize has been a trend in quite a few of my designs. Go watch that video, by the way. And yeah, she actually just turned out really cute. I like her hair swoopy style that I kind of went with because Midnight Lake and Rock has a lot of like poofy upwards going spikes in its, I guess, hair. So I kind of gave her that same idea. I kind of gave her like a rat tail. I don't know where that came from. I feel like it gives off like and rock energy though. Yeah, she has some eye bags because, you know, midnight, it's late at night. She's probably tired. I don't really know what else to say. Like and rock turned out really cute. I think she's probably the prettiest girl here. I don't know. Anyway, that was like and rock midnight form and on to the next character design. Woohoo! And last but not least, we have Luxray. I love Luxray and I love this design. She might be my favorite out of all three. I don't know. I just think she came out really, really cute. And you don't see it right now, but later on after it's done, I feel like she kind of gives like a little bit of Twilight Sparkle energy. So let us let us get to that part. But Lux. Ray, oh my gosh, this design. I started sketching her out in my sketchbook on a sketchbook page and I was like, oh my word. I kind of dig this design, like the outfit, the aesthetic, the body type, the everything about her, I dig. And I feel like if you were to just look at her on her own without knowing which Pokemon she was based off of, it might take a few tries to get to Luxray, but okay, it did take a lot of the elements from her direct Pokemon design, so it, I can give myself some credit. I do think it's a pretty good Gajinga. Why am I so happy about this? It's because she turned out like my favorite. So I gave her kind of the same edginess that like Lycanroc had, but like now it's more like tasteful edginess, if you know what I mean. I gave her like these really like giant earrings. And, oh, by the way, while I was sketching her just based off of all the accessories and outfits I gave her, I decided to make her native just because, I don't know, I thought it fit with her design. On Luxray's legs, I decided to incorporate that as like striped sleeves. And then I was like, what if we had like a layering moment or like a t-shirt? And then I add some belts with like the little like star thing that Luxray has. And then I gave her like fingerless gloves and like nails and these giant earrings that look like her ears and it just really fell all into place. I don't really know what else to say other than I think she's cute. I 100% would make her my own OC <laughs> if it wasn't painfully obvious that it was a Pokemon Gajinka. I don't know. <laughs> Again, I like gave her these really prominent nails because sometimes I feel like I forget to include that element to characters, but it can really add a lot to them and especially a good way to tell like their personality is like how their nails are. So I gave her like these long like acrylic nails. I don't know, I really liked her. I really enjoyed her. She probably was my favorite Gachinka to draw. But let me know down below your thoughts because that was my final drawing from this video. So, let's just go forth and look at all of them. Yippee! So 
Just kidding, that's actually not the last drawing of the video. I completely bamboozled you! <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, this is just a final drawing of the video. I decided to draw all three of them together so you could get a more better grasp of their full body outfit because I realized that in two out of the three drawings, I did not include their full, full body. And also, I wanted to give a height reference because he does add a lot to a character and you couldn't even tell their heights based on how I drew them because I just drew them standing on their own. But drawing them next to each other gets to show their height differences as well as kind of emphasize their different personalities when interacting with one another. So like Luxray is kind of in the front, she's confident of herself, she knows who she is but she's not like overconfident or super like outgoing. Like in Rock, she's kind of shy still trying to figure out who she is. She's kind of acting a little too cool for school, even though she's probably only masking her insecurities. Serena, she's the tallest queen of them all. A little bit of a diva, a little bit of a beauty queen. But let's be honest, she's also the mom friend of the group. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to do an illustration of all of them together. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. This video took a long time to make, even though it's like not even that long. I'm pretty sure it's shorter than my other part, but I had a lot more fun. At least I think I was trying to be more intentional this time around with the design. Last time I was kind of just winging it. <laughs> And yeah, I will see you all in my next video, whenever that is. I literally don't know what it's going to be yet, and I don't know when it's going to be posted, but you know, you should stay along for that. That'll be cool. Will I do a part three? I don't know. But until then, bye 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 Thanks for watching. Later.